Hello viewers and subscribers. Welcome once again my new screencast. Today I try to give it to you some ideas and concept and approach how can you start the Java based web GIS programming or Java based web mapping programming with uh, with different java uh, font and technologies like timelip free marker or jsf or jsp and and other grails technology that's how it means the how can you build uh, your your font and or your web development with the with the geo functionalities with those template technology if you saw my channels i have many examples or many screencast based on the different technologies like uh, different javascript technologies like angular and um, and then the react based technologies i am continuing for the further development or we are continuing the further development for the react based web development with geo functionalities or maybe the web gis programming or web gis mapping issues and then I have the, some many screencast about the very simple um, web GIS or web mapping programming those who had no experience about the any JavaScript and JavaScript uh, framework technologies uh, I meaning that those who have very simple ex basic basic exam very basic knowledge or, or fresher or students or beginners though has only has only knowledge about the very basic javascript and very basic html and css and even though they can start the web development or web development with the uh, with web gis programming and that's that's why this is the like yeah the screencast is continuation of the and the very beginners and up to the professional levels and professional levels meaning and how can you build um, enterprise level application just the uh, or how can you build your professional web applications with the uh, web gis and web gis web mapping programming skills that's what i mean so if you saw the channels uh, ub subgroup channels there's many examples for the web developments and then REST API microservice development with the different uh, uh, different uh, different databases like SQL based databases like MySQL, Postgres, and then Oracle and non SQL based database like MongoDB, Cassandra, Redix, Grimfire. There is many many examples in the into the channels in the microservice level, and those the microservices or REST services. How can you call these services into the your front end development? This is the different screencast I will I am, I am we are continuing for the further development but this is the today that I try to screen make is make clear clear overview how can you make a job completely Java based web GIS programming or web mapping programming with different Java template engine like time leap JSP and 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 free marker and so on so forth doesn't matter which template engine you are using but it's still the same things but uh, the example that i try to give it to you today like the example with time leap and then leaflet and open layer javascript library integration with make web gis uh, programming skills so uh, let's let's all we'll recap it so i have example like node.js angular leaflet javascript based uh, application series there is a 13th uh, videos we are continuing for the further development and those who are interested with the angular and angular and typescript based font development with the geo functionalities they can go this series of the screencast and and the next screencast those who are interested with the same thing angular type angular node.js with the open layers the, the last one was the leaflet and these open layers and geo server based application you can also those here but depending on the which technology which requirements that's what you need it into the your your professionals or your your projects or your what you want to do depending that's why i make it like this way i we don't know 
which technology, which JavaScript library, map library you try to use it. Open layers, then go to the this series. And if you are lip layer, then you have to go to this series of the screencast with the Angular or React or doesn't matter which font and technology you are using. This is the one of the in the screencast we are starting already. Uh, very simple JavaScript library, leaflet JavaScript library, map library, and the very simple web GIS and web mapping programming. That means you don't need to anything to do any 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 JavaScript framework like Angular or React or other other JavaScript framework. Very simple JavaScript functions you you need to write down and then uh, and consume use the leaflet or open layer JavaScript library and call. And even though if you needed some geo server functionality with the uh, geo spatial features and and then you can use this this screencast you can continue this screencast and do do your research work or do your job as a professional way so screencast 46 46 was the based on the very simple web gis or web mapping programming with liplet and then this is the screencast number uh th 37 it is the very it is exactly same thing with the with the with the open layer libraries so that means you can use this open layer or leaflet and geo server library uh, geo server functionality with the angular or react and very simple html css and now today i try to give it to you the most important one if you are the java programmer or grails programmer or groovy programmer or doesn't matter which programmer you are then 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 i try to give it to you how you can do your web gis java web gis or web mapping programming that's the really cool things the important things and this is really highly demand uh, professionals in into the nowadays every applications doesn't matter google's or, or uh, yahoo or facebook or youtube's uh, all the programmers they need a geo functionality that's why i say this is the really most important functionalities you need to learn as, as a geo programmer or geo informatics programmer that's you need to learn i pro i promise that's really help to your everyday professional works and even though is if you are beginners that's also help if you are really five to ten years or 15 years professionals even though that scales also these videos and screencast help because it is really professionally designed and built in the professional way it's not the like hello world or simply loading the open street maps or google maps and and it, it doesn't it is a professional one that's why i said I started from very beginning level and it's up to the professional level those who are the beginners they can go the beginner course the beginner course means the beginner tutorials and then after the beginner tutorial finish then they can move on the professionals or advanced level and advanced level tutorials that's I design like that way so if you look the the functionalities that's what we try to do so this is the really uh, timely based uh, template engines and um, uh, development template engines there is a many lot of functionalities as if you see the geo functionalities is there is very simple web application this i started here the geo the java program projects here i will show you every step when i start the development today i try to go re recap what functionality we try to do and then when you get it then i we will start together how can you start the development that's the intention of this this screencast so if he has a lot of functionality see the all the preparation is done the project is running the all things is running properly and then if you go to this is this is the project is running and you see the lot of functionalities if you have the some you see the some point red points and there's a PPUI a point of interest and we have some some like geo services calls and some some pl register plot informations and so on so as you see the very efficient is calling the geo server services call what you need to do and then and how you can need how you can call the how can you configure your geospatial data set from the port gis to the geo server and after that when you publish the all the all the services in the geo server and then call the geo service 
uh, uh, geo server services into the your respective web pages it doesn't matter which technology